Baby girl, you something special, you my little angel. I love how you love God, ain't get paid. Uh -huh. you and your I never wanted to marry or have kids until I met a 23 year old single mom of two at 31. A few moments later. Okay, but my question is how did you think that I was living before you though? How you do understand that I have my own place and was living. No, don't test me now. So guys, I recently just did a clip yesterday on my IG about a story that I previously covered in reference to this young lady, Rose, who goes by Queen of Kings on YouTube, Queen of Kings on TikTok, I believe, and Instagram as well, about her basically saying how this white guy saved her and she has two kids by him as well as she was a single mom and basically was saying that he took care of a black man's baby mom at the end of the day and saved her. But people were commenting saying that, hey, there's trouble in paradise. So they actually did a video here and shout out to the Duke as well. I saw that he covered this. So they're gonna get into the whole situation here. Let's get into it, let's go. So Rose told me she wants to take a break. And in fairness, I kind of leave her here overwhelmed with the kids daily yeah even at a time to when i dedicated more of my time to be at home um, i was able to understand what it's like to have four kids on your neck mm -hmm. okay yeah you were and, at first you were fine but then you start to kind of like get overwhelmed for sure I mean, to be fair i dipped out pretty quick yeah. because i think i did that for about two months and mm -hmm. from cleaning up constantly to behavior shaping like constantly correcting and everything like that and they're at an age of they're always going to be at an age but they're at an age to where they have a lot of energy and they need a lot of you and they pull a lot from you and they, a lot of people on here were saying like rose has this is a mental thing this is whatever and yeah i mean you'll, you'll see things like that they're the more ambitious people are going to feel like they're either trapped or that they're failing or that they got to have a drive to keep going at something or that they're not succeeding and they just keep driving and going so you do see a lot more of those people publicly because those are more driven people so rose has a very big drive of the things she wants to do and she has a lot of responsibilities as well and a lot of things that take up her time and energy and space i'm going to give you give rose give you what you need the amount of time that I, I don't want to say that take your time whatever because i don't want to so i'm going to stop it right there guys so this is crazy because obviously she's making this guy do these videos a lot of times and he seems uncomfortable a lot of the videos you guys may have seen at the beginning and done in the past you see that he's just kind of like eh. he's like the big show he's what 10 years older than her she's 28 now and he's 38 or something like that now, they were 31. I think he said he was 31 when he met or whatever it was. So the fact of the matter is they're announcing this. And I just posted a short yesterday and people were like, yo, they broke up or whatever. Da, da, da. And I just I thought they were just messing around because all the people were in the comments. Then I seen Shay, he put up the video. But the fact that she's like, let's announce this. We just hit a million subscribers. Let's announce this. He's not doing his thing and i'm overwhelmed as a mother this airbnb and all these rumors of her basically supporting this guy basically he's the one that's sitting on his butt instead of how she tried to portray it but hey kids that's part of it he took on to be the pappy for two of your kids and you just happen to have two more he probably tired of your ish too you know what i'm saying so this sounds scripted let's get back to it you're taking whatever but i understand that you need that they're gonna pull in so much out of me mm. we need to get familiar with that because i'm going to as much as i can i still got for the next couple months i still got a lot i gotta <laughs> get under wraps and move around and <laughs> take them off your hands up to 90 percent of your time to where you can still enjoy yourself get reset and <laughs> actually have time with the kids as well 
Yeah. I've seen someone in the comments say, like, it's not about your happiness after you have kids. And that is the most insane comment ever to me. Because the way that I feel is as a family unit, it's about all of our happiness collectively. I don't put my happiness to the back burner, you know, and it's all about my kids' happiness at all whatsoever. Because if I'm not happy as the mom, how is anyone in the family truly happy? You know, how do you... Once you decide to have kids, there are things that come along with that, especially with marriage. Now, if this man is truly working and you made the conscious decision or maybe he's not performing how he should be, as you've said in this video. And now all of a sudden you're like, yo, we just need to split. We need to separate. We need to do these things because I'm not happy. We're chasing this fame on YouTube and social media. I have and I think she made a video saying that she's was suffering from postpartum. And they're doing all these dances and whatnot. But, hey, it's ups and downs. <laughs> but if you consciously got with a dude just because this is some dude that volunteered, as you guys did a lot of skits, that he's going to be stepdad and take care of your kids. But now it's not working out how you thought it was with this whole Hawaii situation. Because there was another video where she embarrassed the dude saying she got him the $100,000 job or something like that. If I can find it, I'll post it in here. But this is just messy in itself. She turned her comments off as well on the video she posted after this. Your best wife, if you're unhappy yourself and not pouring into your own cup. How much trouble I'm having in this short period. That's how I am all the time. And this is this one boy. I got the other three players. So. But like, this is how it is all the time. <laughs> Oh, 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 Maybe you got so oh, much money, oh, get a nanny. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, if you got the money like that, baby, or if he got the money like that and you guys are doing so well as you put it on the internet, get yourself a nanny. Especially if y'all both busy. When you decide to have kids and you can't make time to do business, that may be something somebody's going to have to sacrifice. Y'all should have thought about this ahead of time. To be fair, I haven't been allowing you to have it, and I'm going to have to try I'm I'm going to give you some time and I'm going to try to find a solution to where we can fix these problems. There was a study that says like being a stay at home mom is equivalent to like four working jobs. But people often, especially people that are not stay at home you know, moms, often downplay it. You don't get a break. Like when you work a job, you go, at least you, you know, like some type of headspace. I get it, you're at work, but like some type of headspace, you know, when you're a stay at home mom, you don't go to the grocery, you don't go anywhere. You don't go on the way, like anywhere by yourself. You know, when I was, when I was 28 to 30, I had a real hard time myself going through, I think everybody gets, there's a, in my theories, everybody gets like a 23 year old moment in life to where you kind of like reevaluate things. And 28 to 30 is another really big one. And fortunately for me, I was single and I didn't have four kids around to where I couldn't figure myself out. And Rose is honestly hasn't able to give herself any figure out time because you've been a mom since you were 21 years old. 20. 20. Yeah. Since you were 20. Pregnant at 19, baby at 20. And this is what happens a lot of times for some women and men, but definitely women when they become mothers early on and they spend all this time taking care of kids and then they look at, hey, this guy will take care of me. If that's the case, this guy will take care of me. But as you're getting older and you're reaching that 28 to 31, you're like, this guy's like in his 40s. I'm still young and beautiful. I just had this baby. I can do better than him. I didn't get to enjoy my life. I need to do that now. I need to get my cheeks clapped other than this guy, the big show right here. And that may be what, what's going It goes on with a lot of women. It happens all the time. No matter how much you're in love, things change when women have kids. And that's just what's happening with this, especially if this is the case where she's saying that he's not really making no money like that. But let's go back to it. And also, it's like someone... Sit down, baby. So, I don't know. My back hurts. This is me all day. All day long. This is me. So a lot of, a lot of the issues, I think, stemming from we did move out here to enjoy life, but we chose some really bad, very small... Airbnbs and being in a space where the kids actually have none of their own space is going to be troublesome. 
to where they're in your face all day versus our four bedroom house that we had to where they could actually go upstairs or outside instead in here they're basically right now we're in the size of a slightly bigger hotel room. or even our apartment they like go to their is this even slightly bigger hotel it's like a basic size hotel room to me it is just a kitchen i think it's but it's probably still the same but anyway to be perfectly honest i'm not expecting rose to last long through this i'm going to give her some time to where she can grow herself and enjoy herself and be able to fix any problems that she has but you're going to need a tow truck to pull this thing off i didn't get this tattoo for no reason i'm very thankful very thankful to rose for my family make sure that our family does best as possible through this what do you mean? i don't think you're to going long. to last a week if not a day if not two days you're scared of elevators you have anxiety about medication you have anxiety about being alone you have anxiety about okay but my question airplanes. is you have anxiety i'm not getting on no airplane you have my anxiety question is about saying, you know, okay, but my question is, how did you think that I was living before foods. you, though? You, how, you do understand ago, that I had my own place I and was my living. Kids your brains I, I honestly don't think, I don't think you're going to last a week. Wow. I think you're going to last a day. All those anxieties mixed with the fact that. I think it's very cute that you take me as a joke. You're so. very dependent. On, on honestly, what? Honestly, you need me. Very dependent on you. Yeah, I'm at fault actually for not, you know, I being there for you because I as a man and raising boys, I'm like you need to learn to get through this and grow and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna give you space, but I do not expect you to last that long. Mm. Oh, okay. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not saying like I'm running to get a divorce, but you do understand oh, yeah. that I did have two kids by myself mm -hmm. before you. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why you're like, no, don't test me now. You're like, I don't think that you'll I'm last. Or maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'm very 100% very dependent on you for sure. That's a fact. But... I do need this time for myself. And just like I made a decision to move to Hawaii, I'm making this decision for me. Mm. And I appreciate you, like, you know, being like a good man. Now, that was very cringe there. A lot of the stuff that she says, the way she talks to this guy is very disrespectful and it leads me to believe where the power resides in this relationship where the authority resides in this relationship for her to talk to him like this and i went on his channel and it looks like he doesn't have any videos on there so he deleted everything but this woman's just talking to him any kind of way man this is crazy and this is the first thing you got a newborn and automatically like yo i need a break you're not doing nothing da 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 da, da. and all before you just praising this dude talking down on black men. Now, all of a sudden you talking about your baby daddy is coming out the woodwork, man. Listen, bro, I guess he realizing now you're like, I'm 41 or four. I'm in my forties now, 41, 42, whatever it is. And here she is. I done rolled with her or I done been a volunteer stepdad all this time. And I hadn't had two more kids with her. Now she cutting up like this, man. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment below, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next videos. It's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Let's run it up to 1 million. I'm the best. Quit playing with me. Peace.